what's up what's going on pisces let's see what the messages are for you guys today all right just want to let you know my pisces guidance deck i'll be using it a bit later it is available in my etsy shop it will probably sell out so if you're interested in getting it please click on the link below all right um if you are a tarot reader yourself and you have a platform here on youtube or instagram or tiktok or somewhere let me know if you want to receive the deck at a discount so if you're willing to promote it for me on uh, your platform just send me an email send me a link to your platform at piscesrs312 at gmail.com and I will get back to you guys um, and try to get you a discount code so you can promo the deck for me on your platform, okay? Also, you guys, I have a new podcast episode, Beyond Tarot. All right, the link to my podcast is below. So let's get into this. Ooh, all right, fertility. That's crazy. So three cards just popped out immediately. Just ready for me, right? So we got fertility conflict and defeat we have truth in the reverse and we have temptation in the reverse all right so fertility over conflict and defeat number three the number five here first two cards out some of you guys could be um just the most obvious message here is you could be expecting you could be trying to conceive a child you could be trying trying to develop some sort of new project creation um you have something fertile within you pisces that you are trying to figure out how to present to the world or how to get it to full term so that is ready for you know consumption <laughs> all right it could be a baby though you could be thinking really hard about how to start your family maybe you felt really defeated in that department um in the past here with conflict and defeat so you could have been feeling very hopeless in regards to your fertility but i feel like the universe has a nice surprise for you here because fertility is upright you know so yes you've had some conflict yes you've had some defeat in the past but not anymore, Pisces. Now things are fertile. So down here we have truth in the reverse. I think this definitely has to go with this fertility because I feel like you may have lied to yourself about what you were capable of, of having or doing, okay? And with this temp temptation in the reverse, I feel like you have sworn away some bad habits Pisces you know and that that may be why you're blessed with this new start this new fertile beginning because you know you could have lied to yourself and made yourself feel like you know you were you were um chained to some of these bad habits or karmic people that just weren't good for you all right and you could have made yourself feel like you were infertile like you couldn't produce something new you couldn't start something new or you couldn't bring forth your um dream of having your own family or having your own you know uh, your own child or whatever the case may be for you as an individual okay but i feel like pisces y'all have really come to the truth of what you are capable of doing okay because with the truth in reverse i feel like You've been so defeated with things that's happened in the past that you kind of, sort of, unintentionally set yourself up for the future. Like, you automatically have, like, this negative mindset about what is possible for you in your future because of so much, you know, bad shit that's happened to you in the past, all right? But I feel like you are definitely detaching from people, places, and things that aren't serving you. Um, you're finally understanding that lesson. You're putting yourself first. Okay, and you're focusing on what you can create, the fertility here. It's all about you, all right? You are the incubator, your womb, whether you're a woman or a man, even if you're a man, you're an incubator for something great to come out of you, something amazing to come from you, all right? And a lot of you guys have been thinking hard and long about what it is that you can create that's going to be valuable for this world. All right. Fertility. It could be a person that you're trying to create. It could be a dream career that you're trying to create. It could be a, a product, a business. All right. It could be a dream partnership that you've never had. It's something here with the fertility that you're trying to create and you're trying to figure out how you can do it despite all of the defeat that you felt in the past. All right. Despite all the conflicted energy that you see around you. All right. A lot of y'all are in your own bubble right here. You see this? 
You're in your own bubble of protection. You're trying to protect your ideas. You're trying to protect your energy. All right. It's about you protecting your energy and reserving what you have inside of you for only people who deserve to even know that part of you. You can't share the innermost part of yourself, Pisces, to people who are not going to appreciate you. You can't do that anymore. All right. Because that's how you're going to end up defeated. That's how you're going to feel like you're at odds with people because you're giving people more than what they deserve. All right. You have to reserve your energy for yourself. You have to reserve your energy for your passion projects, for, for your fertile new beginnings, okay? So let's see if we can clarify this a little bit. What's the advice here for Pisces? Let's clarify the situation for Pisces, okay? So we have the third eye chakra, all right? You're definitely seeing things that other people can't see, all right? We have card number six. Ooh, two sixes. This one did come in the reverse, though. All right, because it's material and spiritual prosperity in the reverse. And it could be because all this conflict and defeat, you're not really seeing the material um, things prosper right now. You're not seeing them happen in your real life. That's why you, you're in the fertile stage. You feel it inside of you. But the material, um, the material transformation is not there yet. It hasn't come out in the real world yet. All right, your third eye chakra. I feel like you're you're sensing the future, Pisces. Some of y'all are seeing things before they happen at this point in time. Okay, you're sensing things before they even happen. Um, I'm gonna read what the third eye chakra is. card says in this book. So it says this chakra, of course, is located in the throat area. Oh no, sorry y'all, that's a different one. It says this is the most talked about of all the chakras and clairvoyance so it's inner seeing it's intuition it's higher levels of consciousness and they're all associated with the energy center wow what did i just say the center man you got something within the center of you pisces that is waiting to just expand to grow to really just show out you know what I'm saying? That's why you got to protect your energy. You have to. You may have sensed yourself falling away from people. You could have fell out with a lot of people here with the conflict that came out on the table earlier. You know what I'm saying? You could have a lot of people that are at odds with you. You could feel like people have just dropped off the face of the earth. Okay? But I feel like every person that you have lost or you walked away from, or maybe an opportunity you walked away from, this was all to protect your energy. Because what you have inside of you, Pisces, is invaluable. It's invaluable, and everybody cannot have access to it, okay? You have learned some tough, tough lessons. Some of you guys have kicked addictions, bad habits. You have left abusive relationships, okay? You guys have really, really grown, and because of that, you are you are you are gaining an understanding that the strength that you have is internal. It lies within you. It's about you, your connection to source, to divine, to God. It's not about all these other people who can come in and out whenever they feel like it. All right. That's why you are choosing now to protect your energy. You're choosing to focus your energy on things that are going to be fertile for you, things that are going to grow for you. Not dead in situations, not dead in people. Okay. So let's see. One more of these, and then we'll get into our Pisces guidance deck. Let's get one more emotional withdrawal. I mean, I didn't even need to pull that card. I already told y'all you guys have pulled your emotions back from people. You're in a deep state of meditation, or if you aren't in that state, you are going to be very soon. A lot of you guys cannot help but to reflect and to internalize what has happened in your life, what continues to happen, where you see your life going, and how you plan on getting there, all right? You're focusing on yourself, and you're not feeling bad about it. You used to feel bad about shit like this, Pisces, but not anymore, okay? We got card number eight here, emotional withdrawal. And card number eight always is going to remind me of the infinity sign. So this is something, this is a lifelong thing that you're going to have to do. Um, infinity goes on forever and ever, right? So I feel like you see this person praying. 
All right. It's like you're understanding that the people in this world, Pisces, are temporary. No matter how much you love your boyfriend, no matter how much you love your girlfriend, no, how, no matter how much you love your mom or your dad, these people in your life, in this life, are temporary. OK, so what is going to be constant, what's going to remain forever when this life is over is going to be you, your spirit, the journey you have to go on. All right. So you're learning that you have to withdraw your energy. You have to focus spiritually on yourself and devote that time and that patience um, within yourself. You can't always be focusing on other people. OK, you're going to get some downloads, some messages here. If you guys are praying, your prayers are not going unheard. They're not going to be unanswered. All right. Your prayers are going to come to fruition right when they need to be. All right. You're dealing with fertile ground and you don't even know it, Pisces. All right. So let's get into our Pisces guidance message from yours truly. We had the lovers that kind of flipped out, but it flipped back in. So I'm going to take that as like love is coming, Pisces, but it's not there just yet. All right. Wow. We have guidance again. That came out the other day. Get one more for Pisces. One or two more for Pisces. With some messages for Pisces. Wow. For that to pop out twice in a row, guidance like two days in a row that's letting me know Pisces that you are getting the downloads man like you are tapped in crazy give me one more for Pisces guidance message guidance for the universe okay that's what I'm talking about that's what I'm talking about yes we got the magic within you the magic within you you see that you're divine you're a mermaid you have some sort of magical uh, essence about you Pisces that is just attracting everything you need into your life everything and everyone all right we have abundance is yours you don't see it like you see the two fish down here they're just playing in the water they're just enjoying the tides they're enjoying the the temperature of the water and everything you know what I'm saying but they don't even see behind them this big huge massive luxury cruise ship all right so it's like abundance is right around the corner. The luxurious life you've been waiting for, your dreams is right around the corner. You just don't feel it. You just don't sense it. You're just too concerned with what you have going on here. All right. And also know that the spirit, God is not going to leave you alone. There's going to be some sort of partnership that you're going to have with someone that's going to make you feel like you're not out in these waters alone by yourself, Pisces. All right, abundance is definitely yours. Lucky card number seven. All right, and then we have guidance. Like I said earlier, you're tapped in. All right, you're tapped in. You are magic at this time. Everything you touch is magical because you touched it, period. <laughs> All right, so Pisces, I truly hope these messages helped you in some way, shape, or form. Please let me know if they did. If you're interested in receiving my Pisces guidance deck, the link to uh, purchase is below. If you are a tarot reader yourself and you want a discounted deck to promote on your channel, please send me an email at PiscesRUs312 at gmail.com, all right? And y'all, please check out my uh, newest episode of my podcast, Beyond Tarot. I will talk to you guys later. All right, bye.